exploring the potential of Gelsite. In our first video, we introduced Gelsite and showed how it could be used for measuring the 3D shape and texture of a surface. Our first video can be viewed on YouTube or at our website. In this video, we demonstrate the range of performance that can be achieved with various configurations. We explore spatial resolution, sensitivity, and sensor size, or how compact it can be. Note that most of the demos in this video show raw image outputs and not 3D reconstructions. In our first video, we showed that we could sense the raised printing on a $100 bill. We can do even better by building a sensor with a thin skin and fine reflective particles. Here is a picture of an oregano leaf about one centimeter across pressed against the sensor. It is covered with fine hairs and round secretory organs. Let's zoom in with a microscope for a closer look. The secretory organs, which contain aromatic oils, are about 100 microns in diameter. The tips of the hairs are a few microns across. By using a hard or soft elastomer, we can measure large or small forces. First, we show the large forces that can be measured by a hard sensor. This video shows a sensor being run over by a Honda Accord sedan. The car weighs 2,850 pounds. The tire tread, along with small pebbles embedded in the tread, can be clearly seen. At the opposite extreme, a very soft gel elastomer can be highly sensitive. Here we poke the sensor with an adult hair, which exerts about 0.4 millinewtons of force. Next we poke the sensor with a child's hair, which exerts about 40 micronewtons of force. This force is too weak to be detected by a human fingertip, but is easily detected by gel site. Still using a soft gel, we can detect the pressure exerted by soap bubbles. Here are some bubbles spread on a sensor. When we look from the other side, we see the bubbles and their walls. We can also study soft tissue, such as the human tongue, as shown here. A sensitive sensor could be useful in medical applications like endoscopy or minimally invasive surgery, allowing the surgeon to sense the shape and hardness of the tissue. Just for fun, let's look at some earthworms. It's hard to figure out how worms propel themselves across the surface. But if we look from underneath, we can see the variety of forces that they exert. Worms have little protrusions called CT, which can be extended or retracted. For an application like a robotic finger, we want the sensor to be compact and moderately firm. The next section shows what we can do. This is a more compact version of the gel site device. Uh, this wand is based on a dental camera. The camera is located right here. There's a light source in there. The gel site material is on top. And when I press my finger into it, you'll see my fingerprint shows up in the uh, video monitor. Okay, here we are looking up close. There's my fingerprint as I press my finger in. And now I can uh, press the sensor against the sleeve of my shirt. As I roll it around, you can see the, uh, the fabric texture of my shirt sleeve. And now the back of my hand, you can see the wrinkles of my skin on the back of my hand. And now I move to the uh, back of my knuckle. See the wrinkles there. And here's the stubble of my beard. This is the texture of my hair. One more thing, we can look at the uh, printing. This is a, some laser printing on a piece of paper. And the toner is high enough that you can actually uh, sense its depth. Uh, that's about 20 microns. We have shown that gel site technology is quite versatile. By changing the material, we have demonstrated high spatial resolution and a wide range of sensitivity. Our compact version shows that the sensor can be made in various sizes. For more information, please visit our website.